Hello everyone, jokes aside, in this video I'm going to talk about 5 reasons why you should learn Rust in 2020. So without further ado, let's get started. Reason number one, Rust is fast, real fast. In fact, it was built to replace C++, which is the language used in performance critical applications such as web browsers. So if you don't know it already, C++ is used in most performance critical applications nowadays. It's used in most web browser, it's used in many operating systems, databases, and a lot of performance critical applications. The question you may ask is why should we stop using C++ now? And the answer is memory safety. In a recent study, the Chrome developer team discovered that about 70% of high vulnerability bugs are due to memory management issues. So in other words, bad use of pointers and some of you may say yes but good programmers don't do those mistakes and that point is not valid because if even chromium has those problems and chromium is built by some of the best engineers in the world then the problem is in the paradigm rust tries to solve those issues thanks to its powerful type system and its ownership semantics those guarantee thread safety and memory safety a whole class of memory safety bugs is eliminated at compile time. On the other hand, some of you may ask, but why don't we use languages such as Java or Python or JavaScript instead of C++? And indeed, those languages don't allow the developer to directly manipulate the memory. So they are indeed memory safe. The problem is that this memory safety comes at a cost, a performance cost, and some applications such as web browsers or operating systems or all those performance critical applications cannot afford that cost. So Rust is the tool that should solve those problems. It gives you a very fast performance, but with a lot of safety guarantees. Rust is really cross-platform. You can run a Rust program on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, as well as the mobile operating systems such as iOS and Android. And thanks to the huge advancement in the WebAssembly standard, you can even run your Rust programs in the web browser. You could create your high-performance component library and then run it flawlessly on all those targets without any modifications. And you would get a very fast performance, performances that were only matched by C and C++ in the past but with safety guarantees and a very rich feature set. Point number three, the community is growing fast as well as its use in production environment. In fact, even though there are some rough edges in some areas such as web development compared to other languages, the potential for the future is huge. Carol Nichols, the co-author of the Rust programming language, defined Rust as a language for the next 40 years. So if you learn Rust properly, you can expect a lot of job opportunities in the foreseeable future. Also considering that Rust is also growing in the embedded community. So without even realizing, you may find that your dishwasher firmware is written in Rust in a few years. And the next point is extend your programming understanding. In fact, learning Rust can teach you a lot about memory management on both the low level aspect of a system and the high levels. What's interesting is that uh, understanding Rust can also teach you a lot about garbage collected languages. Some of their decisions start to make sense now because you understand how memory is managed in the system. All right, so that was all for this video. I hope you liked it and find it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like below because it really helps. And I hope to see you in the next video.